you're given this spiral here, it sort of goes outwards in this direction, it just keeps going, but we're looking at from t is 0 to infinity, we have x is e to the negative t cosine 10t, and y is e to the negative t sine of 10t. So if so we want to find the, the area that is past when t is between 0 and infinity. So we're going to start that off and say this is from t1 to t2 of x prime of t, y of t, minus y prime of t, x of t. This is our formula for that. So things we need, the derivative of x of t and the derivative of y of t. So let's do that first before we plug stuff in. So x prime of t equal to first times the root of the second plus second times the root of the first. I mean, yes, that sounds right. So first, t to the negative t times the derivative of cosine 10t. That's 10 sine, oh, I should do it slowly. So cosine, the derivative of cosine is negative sine of 10t. And then the derivative of 10t is 10. Okay, then plus the derivative of e to the negative t is negative e to the negative t times cosine 10t. So I'm going to pull out an e to the, I'm going to pull out a negative e to the negative t. So negative e to the negative t. So then you're left with 10 sine of 10t plus cosine 10t. Okay. Oh, that wasn't necessary. Yes, it was. Then y of t, y prime of t, do the same kind of thing. We have e to the negative t. The derivative of sine of 10t is just cosine 10t times the derivative of 10t is 10. Okay. Plus the derivative of e to the negative t is negative e to the negative t sine of 10t. So again, I'm going to pull out an e to the negative t, even though there's no negative on this side. So when I do that, ugh, negative e to the negative t, I'm going to put this one first. So we have sine 10t minus 10 cosine 10t. Okay. So now we've reached the bottom of the board, so we're going to move over to the other one and set up our interval. All right. So we have 1 times 1 half times the absolute value of the interval. Just kidding. 1 half of the interval from 0 to infinity of the absolute value of x of t, which we came out with was negative e to the negative t times 10 sine of 10 t plus cosine 10 t. And then we want to do that times y of t. So that's e to the negative t sine of 10 t. And we have that minus a very large minus sign, maybe that's a little smaller, minus y prime of t, which we had was negative e to the negative t times sine of 10t minus, minus 10 cosine of 10t. And then we want to multiply that by x, which is e to the negative t 
cosine 10t. Okay, let's close the absolute value. dt. Right, so we're going to combine some terms and get rid of things. It'll be great. So 1 half from 0 to infinity. We have, I'm going to pull out this and this. Actually, I'm going to pull out this, 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 and this because they're all there. So I'm just going to put it here. Negative e to the negative 2t because e to the negative t times e to the negative t is e to the negative 2t. Then we end up with 10 sine squared 10t plus cosine 10t, sine 10t. Minus, I'm gonna write minus cosine ten t, sine ten t, and then minus minus plus ten cosine squared ten t. So value dt. Okay, grab a different piece of chalk. Right, well, cosine 10t sine 10t minus cosine 10t sine 10t. Cross that out. Bam, we don't want it. We have one half, oops, forgot to put that absolute value there. Zero to infinity of the absolute value, negative e to negative 2t times. Now we only have 10 sine squared 10t and 10 cosine. Square 10t, so I'm going to pull out a 10. And then we have sine squared 10t plus cosine squared 10t. Close it up to the value. dt. Well, this looks familiar. It's 1. So this. So, have one half times the absolute value from zero to infinity of, we just have the absolute value of negative 10 e to the negative 2t t, dt. Okay? So let's get rid of that absolute value. So we just have 10 e to the negative 2t dt, which is equal to 5 times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative 2t dt. Now we want to integrate. Oh, wait. You can't integrate to infinity. That's an improper integral. So what we're going to do is pull up the 5 and then do the limit from b approaches infinity from 0 to b of e to the negative 2t dt. All right, still can't integrate because e to the negative 2t, that's a little difficult. So we're going to do some u substitution. Write that in orange, I guess. Put that over here. So u equals negative 2t. du equals negative 2 dt. So negative 1 half du equals dt. Okay, back and plug that in here. We have, we're going to pull out the negative one half. So we have negative five over two times the limit from b approaches to infinity of from zero to b of e to the u du. Okay, that's just equal to negative five over two times the limit as b approaches infinity of the integral of e to the u, e to the u, from 0 to b. Plug our negative 2t in back in there. Of e to the negative 2t. Okay, so now let's 
plug this in. Negative 5. Limit as B approaches eh, of E to the negative 2B minus E to the E to the 0. And that's just, that's right, okay, negative 5 over 2. So then, as b approaches infinity, e to the negative 2b just becomes more and more negative, and since it's smaller and smaller, it just becomes 0. So we end up with 0 minus 1. So negative 5 over 2 times 0 minus 1, which is just 5 halves.